Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. Pastor John Coffey here, Kingdom Legacy Church. We thank God for you tuning in for another morning of prayer. We know that God is working it out for our good. We know that he does only big things. He's looking to do something in your life in this season. And I believe if we can hold uh, our peace, if we can hold our temperaments, if we can remain still, be still, and see the salvation of the Lord, I believe he's going to work it out for your good. For we know that all things work together to those who are the called according to his purpose. Would you take a moment and click share, click like? Would you share this morning's prayer with someone? You never know who may need to hear this prayer. You don't know what someone is going through at this time of the morning. You don't know what someone is going through in this season. Oh yeah, this could be a season for them uh, where they are going through challenges, struggles. But whatever the case, oh yeah, a word, a prayer, a word of encouragement can lead us to higher ground. This morning's prayer can be found in John chapter number 18. John chapter number 18. I want to read down a few verses from John chapter 18 from verses 1 through 11. Uh, this morning's prayer, uh, not only on yesterday did God do it, but God here in this passage is doing another miracle. And maybe that's something that someone needs to hear uh, on this morning. Maybe God has did some things for you uh, in the past, but now he's getting ready to perform another miracle in your life. Oh yeah, he's did it before. He's did it again, but here we go again. God is getting ready to do another miracle in your life. John chapter 18, Jesus is praying in the garden. And this is what the word of God says. It says, when Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook Sebron or Cedron, where was the garden and into which he entered with his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, he knew this place. Be, be careful of the places that you let people know. There should be a place where you can go to have privacy. There should be a place where you can go to have peace. Oh, yeah. Oh, away from all distractions. But, but Judas knew this sacred, solitary place. For Jesus oftentimes restored hither with his disciples. It was a resting place. Judas then having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees cometh hither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Jesus therefore knowing all things that should come unto him, he went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus saith unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon as they, as soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backwards and they fell unto the ground. Then asked, them he them again whom seek ye look at the power of this text he said i am and they fell down they were familiar with that phrase i am that i am and he asked them again who are you looking for who seek ye and they said jesus of nazareth and jesus answered unto them and said i have told you that i am he 
if therefore you seek me, let, let us then go therefore the way that the saying might be fulfilled, which was spake of them, which thou gavest me, have I lost none. Then Simon Peter, having his sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword into thy sheath, and the cup which my father has given me shall I, shall I not drink it. This is an interesting passage of scripture because we know that Peter strikes a man and cuts off his ear. But at the same time, Jesus performs another miracle. He performs another miracle by healing this servant's ear. In other words, he did it again. I want to pray with somebody on this morning that Jesus is getting ready to do it again. He, he gave you one miracle. He gave you two miracles. He gave you three miracles. And now he's about to do it again. Oh, I don't know about you, but he's getting ready to do another miracle in your life. Come on, let's pray this morning together. Uh, please put into the description box uh, on Facebook in our chat, uh, and we can touch and agree with you anything that you are believing for. We want to pray for those families uh, that were um, the bridge in Baltimore, connecting those two counties that failed, that had... Uh, pastor buyers on the bridge and those that were working on that bridge um, we want to pray for those families as well for God we thank you in the name of Jesus we give you the glory we give you the honor we give you the praise God we know that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask for or think God, we thank you, Lord, that you hear us when we call on you. God, when we call on your great name, God, you are present. God, when we uh, seek you, we find you. God, when we knock on the door, you answer it. God, we thank you on this morning for yet another day. We thank you on this morning for yet another blessing, another miracle. God, every day we wake up, your word declares that your mercies are new every morning, a fresh set of mercies, oh God, to navigate us through life's vicissitudes. God, we thank you on this morning, God, that we can come to this place and we can lay down our burdens. We can touch and agree with other believers that you are working in our lives. God, we come to this place, this time of the morning, because you, oh God, went into a solitary place early in the morning to seek the Father. God, you went to the place early in the morning before the sun even rose up, and there you had a conversation. God, we thank you on this morning. Whenever we can gather together, whenever we can meet, oh God, whenever we can come touching and agreeing, for your word declares, if any two or more come gathering together in my name, I'm right there in the midst. And whatsoever things you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever things you loose in the earth shall be loosed in heaven. God, we come to you on this morning. Thanking you, O God, for yet another day. Thanking you, O Lord, for yet another opportunity to serve you. God, we thank you on this morning. Oh, we call on your great name. There is no 
no name given under heaven whereby we must be saved but at the name of Jesus that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. God, we thank you for what you did on Calvary's cross, oh God. We thank you, Lord, how it was a means to an end. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, that you were getting us to another place, oh God. You were getting us to another plateau, God. You were rising our awareness, oh God, that the Father, oh God, is seeking such to worship him in spirit and in truth. God, we give you glory on this morning, oh God. We thank you, oh Lord, for your many blessings, God. We thank you for how you are keeping our children and our grandchildren, God. We thank you, Lord, for how you are protecting our nieces and nephews, oh God. We thank you, oh Lord, for how you are expanding our families, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are a keeper, oh God. We thank you in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, on this morning, oh God, for how you, oh God, are calling us, oh God, to come higher, to higher ground. We thank you, oh Lord, in this season, oh God, for how you are stretching us, oh God. And we can only say thank you for another blessing, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for another miracle, oh Lord. For your word declares that the blessings of the Lord, it maketh rich, but it adds no sorrow to us. God, we thank you for how you are stretching us. We thank you, oh Lord, for how you're working, oh God, and Lisa Gray's life and in her home and in her family, oh God. We thank you, oh Lord, for how you're working and moving things around, oh God. And Sister Teresa Hempfield's life, God, we thank you, oh God, for how you're moving through the family, oh God, of Sister Yvonne Jackson, oh God, and Mother Blanche Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for what you are doing in this season. For this is the season of resurrection. For this is the season of another chance. This is the season and the time, oh God, oh God, that you have called us to, to rise to the occasion, oh God. And we thank you even right now for what you're doing, what you're doing in Sister Kawanda's life, oh God. We thank you even right now in the name of Jesus, oh Oh God, move in Mother Jones' life, oh God. Yes, Lord. Woo. Move now, oh God, in her life, oh God. Whatever obstacles, oh God, give her a strategy, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, to navigate, oh God, through the tough areas. God, give the Covens, oh God, the blueprint, oh God, for your success in the kingdom of God, oh God. Continue to move, oh God, move in their lives, oh God. Let your anointing rest upon them in the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you even right now, Lord. Yes, Lord, that no job is too big and no job is too small for you to get involved, oh God, and help your people. God, we thank you even right now for continuing to cover us. We thank you, oh Lord, even right now for continuing to protect us, oh God, and provide for us, oh Lord. You make a way out of no way, oh God. And God, even in our our accidents and incidents and, and even Lord when we make the bad choices and wrong decisions oh Lord you still move in just like you did in this morning's text when when Peter's flesh got in the way God you fixed it oh God when his flesh oh God tried to abort the mission oh God you stepped in oh God even oh God yes Lord and our good will our good deeds and willing to do the right thing, oh God. God, if it's bad timing, oh God, we thank you for stepping in, oh God, in seasons of our lives when our timing was off. Ooh, we thank you, oh Lord, on this morning. Yes, Lord, we bless your holy name, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that you are still performing miracles. We thank you, Lord, that in the garden is the place where the blood drops, oh God, fell down, your sweat fell down as 
has thick globs of blood, oh God. God, because of the anxiety, because of the pressures of life, because of the stressors of life. God, we pray even right now in the name of Jesus for somebody, God, that's going through a challenge, oh God. Somebody that's faced with opposition, oh God. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, that you would allow us not to fall into temptation, oh God, that we would not enter into temptation, oh God. Oh God, but we can trust on you, oh God, for your word declares, not my will, but thy will be done. And we thank you right now. God, we're seeking that your will would be done in somebody's life on this morning. God, do it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for what you're getting ready to do, oh God. We trust you on this morning, oh God. We know that you are a way maker. God, you make ways in the wilderness, oh God. You make ways in the desert, oh God. In the dry places, oh God, of our lives, you provide water, you supply nourishment, oh God. Even as the creek, oh God, dries up, oh God, God, you provide water, you send food through the ravens, oh God. You are able, oh God, to meet every need, and we thank you, dear God, on this morning, and we bless your holy name on this morning. We give you the glory, we give you all the honor and we give you all the praise in Jesus mighty name we pray somebody can say thank God right there somebody can say hallelujah somebody can put into the chat God did it again matter of fact he's doing it again and again and again and yet another he's doing it all over again oh God we thank you on this morning and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody can say thank God and somebody can say amen right there on this morning. God did it again. God is doing it again. Yet another. He's he's not through with me yet. Oh, he's getting ready to show me something that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard and neither has it entered into the heart the things that he has already prepared for those that love him. Oh, Lord, thank you. God bless you, people of God, on this morning. In Jesus' name, if you are able to make it to Bible study on tonight on Zoom at 730, I tell you, you won't be disappointed. We're going to dig into the scriptures together. We're going to look at uh, an area as we are on the way to the cross. We're going to look at something oh, on tonight that's really going to be a blessing to you. Oh, yeah, it's a Bible study teaching that you need to hear. I believe it's going to take you higher. I believe it's going to take you deeper in him. Join us tonight. Oh yeah, invite someone, bring someone with you. Oh yeah, you will really enjoy. If you haven't been to our Wednesday night Zoom Bible study, it is a great opportunity to take notes and to learn and to share what God is doing and speaking in your life concerning the scriptures. God bless you. We love you here at Kingdom Legacy Church. We will see you tonight if you are able to make it at 730. Take a picture, screenshot of the Zoom information. Log in. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. God bless you. We love you here at Kingdom Legacy Church. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Just know that God did it again. God bless you. <laughs>